Hey everybody, welcome to Instagram Live on Platform. My name is Stephen Frost, I'm an artist, I live here in Boulder, Colorado, and today we're going to be here in my studio, right here in Boulder. Hey, welcome Esther, it's so nice to see you. Hey everybody, welcome, hold on, I'll wave back at you. Wave, wave, you guys are great, awesome, thanks for seeing you here. Hey, today I have a really amazing assistant here who's going to be helping me. Oops, here he is. It's my camera assistant. It's my husband, Jed. And um, we're going to be doing a bunch of different demos today. All right, wait. I'm going to change my orientation. Not that, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. The very funny. Very funny. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to do two different demos today, and we're going to do a little bit of a studio visit, if that's cool with you guys. Is that cool? Waves, claps. Waves, claps. I've been teaching a lot of Zoom classes lately. I guess if you guys haven't heard this, Zoom is the hot new thing. And so I always have to teach uh, very tired college students on Zoom. And I'm always like, and Zoom has two options. One is a thumbs up uh, emoji that you can do. And the other is a clap emoji for the students. So I'm always like, give me the emojis. <laughs> You're getting cool. claps. I do. Oh, I'm getting claps. Good. Yeah. Thanks for your claps emojis, everybody. Snaps to you. I wish we had snaps emojis or like nail emojis. I really like those uh, fingernail uh, nail salon emojis. They're amazing. Okay. So our agenda today is I'm going to show you all a couple different masks. One mask requires only a t-shirt and scissors. If you have um, a knife that's very sharp, you could use that as well if you don't have scissors. I'm gonna model it, hold on, ready? I'm gonna do a reveal. This is like Project Runway reveal moment. Oops, I'm gonna take my hat off. And... Right? So this is not an N95 mask, in case you guys didn't know that. <laughs> I'm gonna show you all this design. So. This is called, what I'm going to call this design, is this is called, I'm going to say it's a three-hand face mask is what I'm calling it, even though that's not what it's called on the internet. Basically, if you're measuring it, the way that I measured it, as I'll show you where, where I started on a regular t-shirt, take a good old fashioned t-shirt that you have, like this one, okay? And this one is extra large, which is great, because extra large is extra fabric. Like if you're buying t-shirt for projects at... Um, a thrift store or you're finding like old t-shirts for things i was like extra large because i'm like the more fabric the better okay so what i did here today is actually what you think about um what's that trick thing where like somebody puts their hand on their nose and then you hit their hand i didn't have brothers i don't know about these things you know what i'm talking about something about if your hand's bigger than your oh, yeah. face is your hand bigger than your face or something like that yeah and then you go like that right maybe someone knows I had sisters. They didn't do those things to me. They did much crueler psychological things to me. Um, just kidding. My sisters are wonderful. D. Billy's a fan of beards. He doesn't want us to be anti-Santa Claus, I think. That's what he's saying. Yeah, let's not be anti-Santa Claus yet. Although it'd be really funny, uh, but not funny, if, if Santa Claus had to be, like, maskless to come into our houses. He had to wear, like, a COVID outfit. So we made, oh, yes, let's start working on that. D. Billy, we need a Santa Claus in a COVID outfit. We should work on it now. We'll be first. First in the game. Okay, so hand measurements, right? So we are thinking about how do we do this at home? Not everybody has multiple looms and multiple sewing machines in their house, which is totally understandable. So I'm using my hand as a measurement. Basically, your body, like if you look at this, right? I know we're not supposed to touch our face. I wash my hands a lot, but as a measurement, right? This is basically covers my face, right? So I'm using this measurement right here on the shirt, okay? So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna take a marker, ding, and that is my first measurement, okay? So I'm gonna go one, one hand, and then spread your fingers out once you've made that measurement. Flip your hand over, that's one measurement that way. Okay, cool, now I'm gonna flip my hand over this way. Boom, that's another measurement that way. So this is basically one, two, three hands, and most t-shirts are gonna be about three hands as well. And then what you're gonna do is you can either mark that or like I'm gonna do, you're just gonna guesstimate it. And then you take your gold scissors. Not the to... unicorn scissors. No, not unicorn scissors yet. Those are for later. Those are trimming scissors. These are my, these are my scissors that are for, um, these are my scissors that are for cutting. These are actually called shears. We don't call them scissors, we call them shears. Which, I don't know why. Don't ask me. 
I don't have a master's degree in fibers or anything. I wouldn't know about those things. You're okay. not a library commissioner or anything. <laughs> Stop it. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half like this and like this to get my length. Ding, ding, ding. If you're on the bottom of the shirt, you're gonna leave this on, but you don't have to be on the bottom of the shirt, but this actual kind of edging that's on the bottom of the t-shirt is awesome. It's gonna make a great cord. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. Ding dong, ding dong. And then I will Martha Stewart to a different fabric. That's what I call it when you have like the second stage of something prepped. I call it Martha Stewarting. This is a one of Jed's old t-shirts from the early 2000s. And I have kept it for some reason because I think I thought he looked cute in it or something. And all right. So back to hand measurements. So if you guys have old funny t-shirts that you've kept around your house, now is the time to use them. You're going to basically upcycle them into a new accessory. So here's my hand again. So now's the time for yeah. like yeah. ironic prints to come back. Ironic things are back always. We need a little irony. I know irony was over, but maybe it's back again. But now I think irony is part of earnesty. So it's like all together. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm going to use my hand measurement again. I'm using this. So there's my middle there. And I'm going to make just a little mark where my edge is over here. Or the edge of my hand here. This is basically just like a Thanksgiving making a turkey puppet. You're using your hand to measure. My turkey puppets there. Okay, got. I've got two hands on each side and one in the middle. Are you all ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we're gonna make our mask. So we're gonna start here at the edge. This is no so. So you're gonna leave about like leaving like this area should be as like it doesn't have to be thin, okay? Because t-shirts you'll see is gonna roll over like there. I'm gonna leave about a one inch strip like that. One inch strip. So there are actually some materials you can buy on the internet that are better for pre prevent for uh, preventing and limiting uh, anti uh, microbes for limiting microbes from getting through on the fabric. But I don't always. I don't have that list right in front of me, but it is on the Colorado Sewing Workshop. Facebook page if you want that list of fabrics. Okay, see what I did here? Can you believe this? How fast this was, right? Okay, the next step is take each of these little tangles, hold it here and give it a stretch. This is a really fun part. And if you're doing this with kids, they're really good at like this part. Okay, hold it here, stretch it out, stretch it there, come over here, stretch it out, stretch it out. Okay, so... Are you stretching it out to make it longer or just to tighten it up? I'm actually stretching it out so that the edges will fold over like this because see how it's transformed? Now this is basically like a yarn. See how it's actually turned and transformed into a yarn? Essentially what I'm doing is I'm uh, damaging the elastics that are on the inside of a terry cloth. So I'm basically damaging those elastics so that they um, fold over and they actually make it into more of a flexible thing. Then I'm basically going to flip it over I'm going to tie the top and the bottom, okay? If you guys have seen all those amazing medical workers who are complaining uh, because they have just their faces and their bodies are just being really impacted by the elastic loops that go around your ears, I agree with them. Anything that goes behind my ears gives me a headache. So like even glasses, like sometimes I can't wear them because they just drive me crazy. So I actually prefer this design as you see today that actually goes behind your head. And I think it holds on a lot stronger, okay? So basically, we're done. Ready? Do, 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 do. Done. And then I can tighten this if I need to on the bottom. Oops. However I want to do it. I'm <laughs> like, I'm in this mask forever now. Okay? Good thing it's stretchy. Yeah, good thing it's stretchy. How's my skull look? Does it look scary? Um, you kind of can't tell it's a skull anymore. Mm. What does it look like? It looks, I don't know. What does everyone else think it looks like? So really important thing with face masks, the idea about these reusable face masks, instead of having the disposable ones, right? So medical workers, they need the disposable ones. For us, you go out in public with this. When you come home, 
before you wash your hands, just take it off and put it in the laundry, okay? Don't leave it laying on your counter, like anything like this, just put it in the laundry. So that's why you might wanna make like a couple of them. So that way you have one in the laundry and one here. If you don't have laundry at home right now, you could definitely hand wash this, totally fine. Put a little bit of bleach in the water when you hand wash it and that should kill anything that's there. Um, and then you can hang them to dry. The thing with donating masks to organizations is that their uh, medical workers can't wear a lot of the donated masks because they're not sterile and they don't live in a sterile space. So make sure to check with the organization that you're working with before you donate anything. For us, and thank you so much, Platform, for having me be on your Instagram Live today. Um, I hope everybody had a good time making masks. And um, feel free to send me a message at Harmony in Bad Taste, and I'll be happy to answer any of your sewing questions and sewing needs.